Yes, guys, we are currently at Peel Park 4, Salford's first versus Liverpool John Moore second. It is freezing cold right now, three degrees. You'd think I'm pingu, but guess what? It's just great in Manchester, I guess. But um, there is going to be a slight delay to kick off as Liverpool John Moore did arrive a bit late, and there might be an extra delay due to the fact there's no referee for the game. So we're just going to wait and see. But for your commentary tonight, you've got Seve and Owen. Let's go, guys. Thank you very much, Harry. Welcome to Peel Park. I am joined here with Owen. Sorry, my name is Sevi and I am joined here by Owen. Owen is actually making his debut. Sorry for interrupting you. But how are you feeling? What are your expectations? I'm hoping for a Salford win. But the last two times, they won. Yeah, you've been, you've been camera op, the operator. And yeah, your I've first been, time commenting. You've been promoted. You have been promoted to commentating, so... Hopefully we'll get on well with it. We have Harry back from presenting. He is currently on the camera. But yeah, we have Salford first versus Liverpool John Moore seconds. It is freezing here. Luckily I've got my gloves on. You haven't, so you're going to be struggling here. As you say. was meant to kick off 15 minutes ago but Liverpool John Moore didn't arrive until just like what five minutes five minutes to six so hopefully we're not warmed up sort of had longer training yeah uh, we were here since what quarter two and they were already there getting ready looking ready and looking prepared that is out for a Liverpool throw in Seems calling for a throw, and never referee has given it to Salford. So, and like you said, you've watched Salford women's quite a bit this season. What are your score predictions for this game? Um, I reckon it'll be a hard one. But I reckon it'll be 3 1 Salford. Only because Liverpool turned up late. We're just not prepared. Eight going to chase down the ball. Play to the keeper. Play it coolly. Switch down to the left side. And they're playing it down the left onto the wing. She's kept it in. No, she has not. Ball just went off slightly. And the referee has called it for a throw in. And they were pulled playing down the left. Great ball in the box now. But nicely caught by number five. Fantastic ball to number eight. Keeper just about got to it before. You need to calm down a bit and get the ball down playing. Yeah, it's just going back and forth really. Yeah. One end to the other. The Great footwork there. Scramble going on there. Great footwork. Number 15 
Hester as well to clear that ball out. A lot of throwings already. I wouldn't like about eight throwings, and it's, we're not even five minutes into the game yet. Both teams just clearing the ball out no matter what. And they pulled down the left side again. Cheeky nutmeg down there, but intercepted by Salford. They can't get the counter attack off as Liverpool have just intercepted again. They're in possession again, and that's out for a throw-in for Liverpool. Chasing the ball down the right. Soft is 11. Under Bill. Some good footwork there by number six, but. Great pressure by Liverpool to force a throwing. Liverpool down the right side of this time. He doesn't play the advantage, he does give a free kick. We'll see what Liverpool can do from there. See the first shot of the game. Possible header or volley. It's the ball. Oh. I don't know. That was number 11 who scored that. What, the free kick taker? The free kick was the goal. Just bounced straight in. Bit of an uncertainty from the keeper there, Ruth. She, she looked like she had a glove on it ready to punch it out, but no connection there and the ball just. Bounced in, bounced in, hit the post and went in. No, I can't bounce from bodies like that. You've got to do something. You can't, you can't allow that to happen, but it is a lucky goal for Liverpool, so we'll see how Salford will bounce back. But yeah, very, very unfortunate start for Salford. First shot of the game. Well, it wasn't even a shot, it was a cross on it. Very awkward goal. I think we have an injury. I think she's feeling sick. Teammate for time to put her hands up behind her head. That's Liverpool's captain as well. down the left midfield tried to play a ball intercepted by Salford and that's out for a Liverpool throw in again Salford forced to clear the ball out again Liverpool are dealing, you know, 
great amount of pressure on Salford. They're struggling to get the ball out. What are, we, what are your thoughts on the first few minutes of the game? Everything is coming down from the left-hand side. Yeah. Just giving it to the winger and then just winning the throw-in. But they're slowly making their way up the pitch. But whenever Salford are on the ball, it's just... They have two, two women straight going for the player, giving them no space, no passing opportunities, and they're just forced to get the ball out. And that's how they're getting throw-ins. They're winning possession so easily back. We haven't really seen any big chances for Salford yet. Great bit of passing there. There we go. Keep the ball. Beautiful retrieve ball by number nine. Play to number eight, but keeper will claim it. Again, you can see the sort of style they're trying to go with. They're trying to play a through ball to number eight. I think it's just rushed. Might be. Yeah, but I remember I was watching them play Chester, and they actually did score through such a similar style. Of course, they they played a through ball, and number eight actually chipped the keeper, giving them uh, a lead for a few for a while, but. At times, they've shown that it can work, but we haven't seen it work yet. They've tried three times, and it's gone straight to the keeper. The thing about Liverpool is, though, they get the ball, and now you play. I was going to say, play it about, but she just passed it off for her. I think they've looked a lot more confident on the ball. They do, and that's how they always look. We were talking about before they... You, you were mentioning they didn't look ready. You know they did turn up late. They didn't have a while to warm up, but the playing was the better team. They are definitely looking like they have had a lot more uh, practice before Van Salford before this game. That's a great ball, but poor touch. Salford are on the ball now. out for a Liverpool throne again. 50 now to, well, I don't know if she had to get that out. I think she could have played it to the keeper. Down to the right wing. Tried dribbling into the box. The 11 does well. Does not give it in for a corner. And it will be another throw for Liverpool again. Poor connection with the ball. I think she tried to go for a shot there. Number three. Ooh. See, you can see the vision with that shot, but she didn't look up, didn't know where the goal was, and was went wide. very, very wide. That that was the first shot of the game. That's a proper shot. Fourteen yeah. minutes in. You would think conceding the goal would wake him up. But it's not really done anything. It might take a while. When they were down against Chester, but it did, they did manage. They went 1 0 down after 10 minutes. And then three minutes later, they were up 2 1. Um, so it does depend. Um, I feel like they will bounce back, but it might take them a while. I think if they're going to bounce back, it'll be second half. Did they win that game? They didn't win the game. But that's not the point I'm trying to make. The point I'm trying to make is that they can bounce back any minute. I just think they need. I think it'll happen in the second half. You don't even do journalism yourself, but your debut with us, with Salford Sport, was actually camera up as just a favour to help me when I asked you. But how have you been finding working with Salford Sport? I enjoy the cameras. 
I enjoy watching the gear. Not a lot of people do enjoy the cameras. You're, really? Yeah. A lot of people prefer comms, presenting. I like getting the action and recording it. Zooming in, zooming out, getting the good parts, hopefully. <laughs> Are you enjoying camera more than commentating? It's a bit hard. It is hard, it's not an easy job. The camera, I find camera easy. But I enjoy it. And that will be a goal kick. We're 15 minutes into the first half. We were talking, we, we don't know how long each half will be. Um, my prediction is it will be 35 minutes long. I hope, it, I hope it will be 35 minutes long. Um, but I think it might depend on the referee. Yeah. The thing about Salt is they never try and play out from the back from a goal kick. They always just hoof it up and lose the ball. Yeah, that's a good obs observation. That's why Liverpool have been winning the possession back so many times. They haven't really given many options to each other. So they're forced to, again, just hoof the ball out sideways or out long and not really creating chances for themselves. But Roof has done, them, done well but under pressure. No one there on the other end of the ball. And number nine. Oh, oh, what a finish. Wow. I don't know if Ruth expected that, but lovely chip. Side netted the goal, and that is 2 0 to Liverpool John Moores in the 17th minute. It's a very nice goal. That was, that was very unexpected. There was really not any build up. I thought was, she was going to cross it. I thought, I thought she was going to try and dribble, pass it maybe, but that, that, that's a great goal. To take that on and score it. That's a good goal. It takes guts and she, she's done well there. Clinical finish. Now we'll solve the bounce back. Well, they're kicking off here. 2 0 down. Have they made a sub? And here we go again. Salford down the right side, a bit too much on the ball there, and that's out for a goal kick. I was about to say the save could be bouncing back, but it's just it's just what we've been doing before, just too much power down the attacking third, and it just goes straight back to the keeper. I think it's the first time we've been in the half for a while to make a pass. Yeah, Liverpool are definitely much more confident. Oh. Great retrieval by number 10. And she slots it. 3 0 to Liverpool. Fantastic finish by number 10. Again, that's just poor communication by Salford. Retreat intercepted by number 10. And Cooley slots it. Through the legs? I think that was, I don't know if it was under or through the legs, but she won't, she won't care. Again, it was a sloppy mistake from Salford. Miss kicking the ball and then it just sets up number 10. And 19th minute, 3 0 to Salford. It's just Liverpool, sorry, Liverpool John Moores. And we go again. It's the same again, they don't control the ball. See the vision there, the pass, saw the run. But I think it's an understatement when I say a bit too much power there. And we have a sub.
We'll win it. So I'll the ball. Never chase down, but Roof will get there with ease. Great claim. I think she should have played that to the fullback. Do you want to expand on why? The fullback was open, and that ball was just never on. Here we go. Salford just giving the possession away, just way too easily, not looking for a teammate. If we had to look at it start wise, I, I would guess that Liverpool have had maybe 75% of possession. Just co completely dominant Under six over left. Salford. Oh, he has retrieved the ball, but going down the left. Takes a Ooh. shot, it's a shot on target. Testing the keeper there. Gonna build off this. Unfortunately, she loses the ball. Got lost with her feet there. But that was a first, first big chance for Salford. Forced the keeper to get the save there. Hopefully, we'll see more of that for Salford coming soon. See, but I don't know if it's just 20 minutes in that there already demo over here. It's not what you want to see. But just giving again, just giving away possession easily, but we're just a throw in. And a throw going on the line. But no one's there to meet the cross. And that is out for a goal kick. She could not keep it in there down the left. Again, it's just goal kicks just doesn't look very confident with them. Just hoofing it up again. Just lose the ball. And it's annoying to watch. That's ball. a great ball in, but Roof is there. Safe hand. And again, that's just possession given away too easy, but Roof has done well that fixing up the mistake. Yeah, no one, no, no one there to receive Roof's pool. That's a handball. Will be a free kick for Liverpool. Set up. 
Well, that's on target. Ooh. I mean, do what you can all cough, but you could you could say that she could have caught the ball, but she's done well to keep her away from danger. Saved by Ruth. Now we'll be out for a Salford throw in. And just like that, Liverpool retrieved for possession once again. I'm hoping that Salford will just make their way up the line with the throw ins, but it's just not happening. Really? That's what you hope for? You don't hope for them to. Not to score? Or to look like a more confident team. They haven't really been looking like they've won. Oh, that was a brilliant side tackle to intercept the ball. lost by Salford. Great forward by 13 there. Great yeah. ball. Down the middle. Oh, that's unfortunate. Salford are still on it. Number nine down the wing. To the line again. Keeper is ready. Red like a book. And the ball comes to a V's. down the right to number eight. Uncertain clearance. Bit of a scramble going on here. That'll be out for a Salford throw in. Lovely pass in between Liverpool. Yeah. Referee playing advantage there. Ten did get clipped. Finds the ball. Takes some shot, but it's wide. But it's just something you don't see yourself for doing. Having shots. I think I've had one shot compared to Liverpool, like five, six. Well, you can't have shots without good um, team building, and uh, we just saw from that chance for passing between Liverpool that was phenomenal. And with a passing they did, they managed to create a chance like that, which is what Salford is lacking, the passing ability, the chemistry between each other to give each other passing options and passing lanes. We've got plenty of time down the left. Great ball. And that's a Salford throw in, taking it quickly. Ah, oh, but again. It's 
Liverpool no, one on, no one on the sofa team on the other end of it, and it's just Liverpool gaining possession again. And that's, I feel like I'm just repeating myself the whole time this game. It's just Liverpool regaining possession, sofa losing the ball. It's just not what you want to be talking about most of the game, is it, Owen? Sorry, I was too busy watching the game. You're a commentator, we're co-commentators, you need to listen to me. Hey, it's a learning experience for me, alright. First and last time commentating. Wow. Get back on the camera. Slicing at the ball. Oh, going with a hoof, but nowhere near the goal. Out for a goal kick. It's just sloppy at the back. Yeah. Clearances are looking. They're not looking very confident with them. Making poor connection with the ball. Substitution being made, 14's coming off. Liverpool have also made a sub. Six was doing there. But not really a challenge for Liverpool to gain possession. Yeah, that, that is a foul. Good balling from both girls there, but a bit too much aggression from Liverpool, and that's a Salford free kick. Again, it's just mistakes leading to Liverpool counter attacks and balls in the box which can connect. Great forward by player. number 10 there. Down the right side, going for the strike. Oh, oh. <laughs> what, a sh what a finish. <laughs> second goal from number 10 there, and that is 4 0 to Liverpool. Not even in the second half yet. Liverpool cannot stop scoring. My prediction is gone. 3 1 answer. You said 3 1 to Salford. You are completely wrong. I hope we get one goal at least. Why? It's just a goal. It's something to, uh, you know, for the girls to build upon. <laughs> but we're just 
run into danger. That was onside. Liverpool will play another ball down the line. She's spinning away. Go over the hit. Shot. Great save by Roof. Liverpool just looks so composed in the ball. Go with a long strike there. Ooh, and that is very close. Roof is lucky to get away with that one. Great ball there. Sweeper keeper. Great forward by number eight there. Oh, no. Poor pass there. Diminishes all the footwork she'd worked with. But that was something there. She took it last players. So that's what we need. Hoops the ball away. Still in the danger zone, really. And this time it's cleared out, but that will be a Liverpool throw in. Again. Too much power. Will she manage to keep it in? She does. And why? I don't get why she has to kick it out. Just play up the line. Number six is empty. Oh, three. Oh, lucky there. Just minimally out. Another Liverpool throw in. <laughs> Liverpool claiming for a foul, pushing her back, but we didn't get it. Good play from Salford. Ooh, that was a good ball, but read well by the left back to intercept it. Yeah, on a classic great ball, number six oh. down the left. 
found the wing, unfortunately. She Keeps it in. Oh. Uh, I think she could have got that. But it's looking a bit better. Just a bit. Well, hopefully, second half, the massive teams are going to come out better. 40 minutes into the first half, we're nearing the ending. That. The referee gave it. Five minutes left, we are. We do have 45 minutes half. Shot there, easily claimed by Roof. Again, we just lose the balls. Great switch to the left side. Lovely go footwork. Trying to pass. Silver still in, but no, not in possession anymore. Good battle from uh, Liverpool. Foul throw for Liverpool. Must admit, I don't really actually see what happened, but referee knows what he's doing. He's had a good game as well so far. Haven't been any controversial calls. Liverpool are going to look to get one goal just before half time. But no one on the end of it. other end of it, and that is a goal kick for Salford.
Liverpool goal kick again. Liverpool in possession. Number 10 intercepts a back heel from number 10. I didn't think that went in for a second there. But we are going into half time. Sorry. We are heading into half time. Liverpool leading 4 0. Dominant performance from Liverpool. We are going back to Harry for half time. Yes, yes, guys. We're currently still at Peel Park. 4 0 to the visitors. Liverpool John Moore. 0 to Salford. Now, from what I've seen and from what the commentators have said, you know, it has been a bit of a poor game for Salford. I think after the third goal, you know, faces dropped, the body language is just very poor. And, you know, I feel like you're at home, you should, you know, be confident and want to be like, you know, yes, we can go back and get it. And, you know, they've not pulled it through. So hopefully, you know, for half time, they can do something and, you know, let's see what will happen. But, you know, it has been a very disappointing for Salford. We are back for the second half. Liverpool are leading 4-0 currently after a very dominant first half. Chance after chance, Salford. It'll take a miracle for them to bring it back to 4-4. So Liverpool will be looking to bag more goals. So I don't know if I'd say we're in for an exciting second half, but we're in for an int interesting second half. What are your thoughts, Owen? Well, hopefully there'll be some changes, tactically. And I should keep the ball. Oh, that looks good for a second. But let's hope they can call these mistakes and stop Liverpool from having shots. Because even the ridiculous shots are going in. Again, that's a mistake. Number 10 playing it down the left to number 11. Going for the on. shot. Oh! No time wasted. Only a minute <laughs> into the second half. And Liverpool have taken the 5 0 lead. Well, um. Not what you want to see, really. He's coming off at half time, coming back from half time. You can see him straight away. Pretty devastating. What a goal to start the second half as well. And I was talking about a 4 4 comeback, but. Is that number 10 it's already 5 0. It's a Salford throw in. Very high yeah, a very high stop there. Almost kicked in the face. Good call by the ref. Bit of a scramble going on there. He's going to come out with the ball. Salford does, and they're escaping now. Great ball in. Number 11 for Roof. You could say safe hands in that situation, but still uncertain with that catch there. And done well by number 8 there. 
but she's just on her own. There's no one, no one to pass to. Not much she can do there, and Liverpool are just overcrowded. Oh, keeper! Lucky escape for the keeper there. The keeper's done all right. One called upon, aren't she? Say she has much to do. Fifteen didn't get a connection with the ball there. Liverpool on the counter attack. I didn't see who got the touch there, but that is out for a corner for Liverpool. And that's... Okay, so this here has been disallowed. We don't seem happy that that goal's been disallowed, but when you're five nil up, does it really matter? I mean, that shows your mentality. You're winning five nil and you still want to score more. I think that's the mentality that Southampton's lacking, that they need to score. I think they're going with the mentality that um, they're just not trying to concede as much instead of trying to score to get back. And I think with the mentality that Liverpool have, they want to score more, that's why they're winning. That's a great mentality to have. So that's something we can ask after the game, why the goal was disallowed. But here we go, two on two counter. Lovely through ball to number 13. Fair before the keeper. Oh, but missed. <laughs> that was a golden opportunity for Salford there. That probably is going to be Salford's best opportunity of the game. And she put it wide. I mean, it's good. It came from a counter attack. Yeah, but you've got to be scoring those. Oh, goal wide open. No one putting the pressure on you anymore. You can't be missing that. But it does show that Liverpool can be exposed at times. Yeah, I mean, it was just a two on two counter. They were lacking their two uh, full backs. And a lovely ball saw. And it's done well to fight for the ball there. That's a great ball. Look by Liverpool. Two fans in front of number eight. That's a thing um, so, yeah. With my camera thing, is it a bit up and down because of the movement? Would it matter or not? So, like, because there are times I've actually, like, jumped a bit backwards, you see, though, is it? Cheers. We're seeing some good passing from Salford here. Building a chance, but completely misses the ball there and gives the ball away to Liverpool. Great ball to number 10. Oh, that's a fantastic save by Ruth. You know, with the amount of chances that she's had, there's only so much she can do, and that's... She show, she's shown... Um, yeah, she's shown what she can do um, at her best, and that's a fantastic save to 
She's the nine number ten of the hat trick. Let's say that for now. Denied or delayed the hat trick. True. That is a question. No ten has been eager to get the hat trick, so we'll see if she will get it. Do you think she'll get it? By the looks of it, I will say yes. That's a fantastic ball to the right. But it did look very offside to me. Let have too much time on the ball. You need to put pressure on the centre back. Because if they win the ball there, they will throw on goal. Just take the shot on. Easily caught. No. no uh, Let's play it quick. Apologies. Let's play it quick to the striker. No, she took too much. No, she plays it too. Owen, you're a commentator, not the manager, yeah? That looks like Controversial. So we're playing down the left. Go. Played advantage. Striker is missing. They have switched it. Great ball. Number 10. Threw on down the left side. Two in the middle. Crosses it in. Finds one. Oh. Number 10 with the pressure. Yeah, that ball definitely could have been left out. 11 with the strike. Another great strike. Number 10 is also now on the brace, joining number 10 there. And that is 6 0 to Liverpool. Again, it's just mistakes. That ball could have been left out. Yeah. But it was good pressure from number 10 to fight that ball back and then give it to number 11. 11, who scored? That's what, exactly what Salford is lacking, applying pressure. They're too lenient with it, they're giving the ball away too easily. They're not forcing um, Liverpool to make any turnovers and that's why. And the, the score reflects exactly the way this game has been. Turn. Will she get it? No, she will not. Rufus uh, claims the ball. Oh, Ooh, lovely touch. touch. Flicked it with the back heel. The ball doesn't connect with number eight. She gets it back. Oh. oh that was a shot. I think I think I think that was a pass, but I don't know who she was trying to pass to.
Referee giving the throne to Liverpool. So we have two players and two goals. Who do you think is going to get the hat trick, man? Probably 10, still. They are playing the through balls to a, a lot more often than they are to 11. She's been creating a lot but of goals. 10 has assisted 11 twice. Yes. So that is definitely the play of the match for me. Two That's goals and two assists is definitely an MVP performance. It's just something yourself in luck. An attacker like that. Someone who will fight for the ball back in the box, force a mistake, and then correct a goal. You could hear the studs collide there. That is not a nice sound you want to hear. Shove in the back there, and that's a Liverpool free kick. She thinks she has a shot. I think it's the same girl who had the shot last time. It's a good ball. And that's didn't manage to keep it in. Goal kick for Salford. We've got about 20 minutes into this game left. Sorry, my apologies. Just under 30 minutes. It's going to show it's going to quick out. Yeah. Do you think you've seen any improvements from Salford? No. I don't think? No. I think it's the exact same as it was in the first half. Um, still getting possession away easily. I don't think... But I think they've got a few more nice... Passages of play, and then they had the chance. But why? The chance of the game. Lovely footwork there. Can't find number ten. That will be out for a Salford throw-in.
confident clearance by Liverpool. Turn away for a teammates to find their tracks down the wings. And boots it straight at Salford for a throw in for Liverpool. Deflection of Salford there. So last time we saw a corner, we saw a goal disallowed. Still don't know why. Did, yeah, I don't, I, yeah, just how to catch what the referee was saying, but the reason is still yet unknown. Will we see another goal? Not disallowed this time. Great ball in. Ooh. Good strike with that header there. That's a good ball. Slightly over the bar. Yeah, over the bar. Another goal kick, just poorly taken. Ball out wide. But that is offside, unfortunately. What? She took the shot on the still. Let's go. Yeah, unfortunately. Surprise it wasn't a booking.
great rear pass in there. Number four and 11, seven is through. Fantastic save by Roof. And again, she claimed it well. Commanding goalkeeping there as well. Great job. I think Liverpool making it a defensive change. I don't know why there's Liverpool players down, but <laughs> hopefully the game can continue soon. Driver. That looked offside. And that looked very offside. Uh, uh, uh. making another substitution. Uh, With 15 minutes left of play. Keeping the pressure on this other player, getting nowhere. Oh, it's good time. But she's running towards her own goal. It's 
good play from Salford. The keeper wins it again. Oh, number. Oh, lovely, lovely ball through the legs. 13's on. Oh. First time shot was not really necessary. She could have definitely taken a touch there. Self, set herself up for a nice shot. It's just composure and loss. The final third. Well, that was a good chance. Oh, you one. No, nah, just, you said composure. I was like, composure, lad. <laughs> just had it in my head. I, even see, I didn't even see, see she was there because the play was blocking that view for me. I can't believe these would have been lawful though when you think about it. Mm. Salford corner. Can we see a goal? It's a good ball. In the box. Too much on it. No one at the back post. Oh, and that should be a Salford throwing. What? And turns for a goal down the left side. She cuts it in. She loses a the ball there. Good strong tackle to stop her. But we knock it out from another full throw. Hopefully, the score for Liverpool will be a reflection of Liverpool against Real Madrid. True. Can't wait to get inside and watch that. It's freezing out here. Space running here. Liverpool players claim for a corner, but I think it's going to be a throw in. Salford deciding to play out from the back from his free kick. And it did not work. That's another foul. This time for Liverpool. Another free kick for Liverpool here. It'll be a dangerous spot there. Shooting distance. I reckon she'll take the shot on. Okay. At 6 0, I think he would. Yeah, 
Oh. Wow. That looks like it was going over. What a hit. Again, giving the ball away. Again, giving the ball away from the goal kick. Inviting danger. And that'll be a corner ball. Liverpool have looked dangerous from these corners, maybe not this one. So drive into space there. Uh
Time in the well, all the spare, she just passed it up here. Take the shot. What a finish! <laughs> Liverpool are absolutely not done with scoring goals. Fantastic finish by the number four to extend the lead to 7 0 away. Well, I'm just speechless now. You can just see that Liverpool are just trying to score one of the goals now. They're taking quite a few long shots. <laughs> that was a, a strike. A great goal. I don't know which being the best goal of the game to be honest. I think I agree with you there. That just that came out of nowhere. Playing great ball through to 13. Inside. Shot block, but she's going for the rebound. And she scores. <laughs> and not even a minute, not even a minute after that wonder goal, it's seven-one now to Liverpool. With about four minutes left of the game, so I've got the consolation goal. I don't think that will do much for a comeback, but I think. Do you reckon? Yeah. Do you reckon? <laughs> Cheers, Jeff. Finds the winger. <laughs> Number four in this free kick, the one who scored the goal. And far out before. Just slightly over back. Not a bad strike, by all means, but no trouble for Roof.
Final minute remaining. Will we see another goal? And that is game done. 7-1 to Liverpool on the road.